In this video, I will show you how to create a beautiful classic orange steel photo effect in Affinity Photo. This effect is a very popular in portrait photography world. It's cool, elegant and make your portrait on next level. Stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm Dev back with another Affinity tutorial video. Today I will show you how to create a beautiful classic orange steel photo effect in Affinity Photo. At first, select your photo. I am cropping my image, this is an optional. Now go to below right adjustment, gradient map. Now here at first, delete middle green color. Now click on color red. Go to RGB slider. Second option, select RGB hex slider. On the hex panel, put this color code. 008080. Hit enter. Now click on the right side color blue point. Now click on color blue. On the hex panel, put this color code FFA500. Hit enter. Now close gradient map. Change blend mode to overlay. And look at this, just wow. That's so cool effect, right? Please leave your comment, hit like and subscribe this channel. This small act motivate me to do more cool videos like this. Now this is an optional. Double click on the gradient map adjustment. Now here if you want your image color effect more with orange or more with teal color then click on the middle line and move right or left. For more orange or for more till. Below position you can see the percentage of color. This is more till color with 77%. This is more orange color with 48, 37%. Like this. Feel free and play with it how you like to see your photo. However, I am keeping 60% orange for this image and it's looking pretty good. Open another image. Here, you do not need to create again this effect. Just go to gradient map adjustment. Ctrl C copy this effect and Ctrl V paste it on another image. Same style. Now output looks depend image to image. You can always adjust this effect by double click on gradient map adjustment and here hold the slider and move it right or move it left to adjust with image. Now using same technique for few more samples.
if your fill color is little bit more high then simply decrease the opacity That's it. This is my final output. How you like this work? Comment down below this video. I hope you find this video helpful. If you like my work with Affinity series, then subscribe this YouTube channel to get more amazing Affinity photo effect tutorials. You can support me on my Instagram account, link in video description. And also you can check out the other videos in channel playlist. Thanks for watching and I will back with another video soon. Till then, keep practicing and have fun with Affinity Photos.